Welcome once again to part six, and I still remain your host, Olushola Adefila. Always with me on the show today is um, the MD CEO of Royal and Senior Consult Limited, Mr. Ernest Odeze. You're welcome once again. Thank you. Yeah, I, I've received a lot of messages from our viewers, and one of them is what we want to discuss today cargo consolidation. Now, I went online to search for the definition of cargo consolidation, and that's what I want to do now. A cargo consolidation is a logistic strategy where a shipper combines multiple shipments within a particular geographic region into a single shipment container. So, Mr. Ennis, can you just throw more light on this definition? Okay, uh, cargo consolidation is... Uh it's a good, it's a good uh, approach on shipping, uh, in shipment and in shipping industry because um, it's it's only it aims and encourage young importers to bring in the words cargoes in the sense that or you know there are things we call bogging rules and uh, non bogging rules okay rules that occupy space maybe. Maybe someone that brings in jewelries, you know, and uh, it can no longer before you're able to cover bringing a jewelry that takes that can uh, contain a uh, full 40 foot or 20 foot, you know what I'm talking about. So maybe it has a little CBN, a small CBN, that is small space portion in the container. On that man, uh, Mr. A and Mr. B and Mr. C can come together to what combine their words. They are they are what they are goods or their freight to what to make up one forty foot or one twenty foot. Okay, without waiting too long for maybe before they were able to have enough money to buy enough goods to be to ship or to trump or to what export. So it's it's a very encouraging aspect in the shipping industry towards the consolidating goods, which we call also what groupage. Okay. It's a group page. So two or three or four people come together to what to what to complete one forty foot or one twenty foot to be shipped to a particular area. Maybe they're coming to Nigeria, the Nigerians, they what what we will come together and make a shipment. So but the, the, the challenges we might have in it is the process of clearing. Okay, you must be able to what it's not a homogeneous item, it's a, it's a, it's it's a heterogeneous, okay, different items in one container. So now we have to what do some physical examination. We cannot scan such item. We have to see that those items duties are paid on them. Okay. So that is only disadvantage about it. In terms of clearing process, it might slow down. It might take time than a goods that have one item in it. But it's a perfect ideology and we encourage it in the shipping industry. I'm going to ask you that. I made a research and from my research I discovered that in some other developed country it takes like within two days after the offloading of vessel, it takes like three to five days then they decongest the ports. But in Nigeria there's a kind of challenge. What about some of the regulations like custom service? Uh, what can they do to reduce that stringent policy made by custom service custom Nigerian custom service to evacuate containers from the ports? Well, um, the country in question, uh, we uh, as a people, the way we, we bring in our cargoes is another uh, issues we are having. You know, uh, here in the country, we practice a lot of cargo consolidations. That is groupage. Even if it's not a physical groupage, but when you have multiple items, multiple items in one container, it becomes cumbersome for the custom to allow that vest, that container to live in time. That is why you see us practicing a physical examination instead of running a scanning system. Because in this kind of system, if you allow uh, run using a scanning without having a physical view of that, so many things will go wrong somewhere. So people might conceal a lot of items that is harmful to the system, to the government, and to the people as, as a whole. You see people smuggling drugs, smuggling ammunition, and so forth. So that is a sense of we, as a people, to really want to, we need to go back to get some policy done. 
but we are not yet right to that system. If we are practicing a mono, a mono type of importation, if I'm bringing this on iPhone 12 or iPhones, and this is only the iPhone will be in that container, it's understandable. If I'm bringing this laptop, only this laptop that is on the, it's understandable. But whereby I have laptop, I have the phone, I have this diary, I have uh, this thing, I have frame, I have several things that is called cargo consolidation. In that aspect, you need to pay duties for all these items, and they need to examine properly to know if truly those items are being paid for. So that is see why we have a, a bottleneck in custom clearing process because we don't practice a homogeneous words kind of importation. So it's, it's not the customs fault, it's we as a people and the consignee the importance. So if they can able to get it fine-tuned, for we to able to have this kind of platforms to bring on particular items at a time, then we can get to that. When the manifest is being disseminated, you can clear your goods online, pay your duties and release online, release your Put your ship from your shipping company for the terminal that what you need once the vessel is dropping you are, you are loading and you are leaving immediately so is that is a very big challenge okay okay thank you so much um lastly because you, you mentioned still on our focus um ports this congesting the ports you mentioned that one of the things we need to to utilize is the badge system and i know that is one of your strengths so i wanted to talk i want you to talk about the badge system in this congested reports, how does it go? How does it work? Well, uh, the batch system uh, is is one of the effective me measure to discongest the port at the moment because uh, we are trying to use the inland waterways properly. You know, in, when it comes to the, the intermodal systems, we are talking about having place the, all the necessary machineries, intermodal chains to work perfectly. We talk about using the truck, using the rail. And using the ship and the you know the the, the barge system is a mini ship a mini uh, uh, it's a mini ship we can use towards this congest the port like each barge minimum of some barges here in Nigeria carries like 18 to 20 okay to 20 what uh, containers in the sense that if you're measuring by TE the standard uh, measurement we take a look at about 40 to 42 TEUs. Okay, and so if, if, if each batch takes in 42 TEUs, okay, mass minimum, okay, 42 TEUs or 40 TEUs minimum, there's some badges that can take up to 100 TEUs, there's some badges that can take up to 120 TEUs, those big badges. So now, if you have this kind of badges in place, that means you are already already reducing the number of trucks that is coming into the port to the road okay because of the nature of the road we are reducing we are using the batch system to what reduce the congestion on the road because of the nature of our road even the main uh, the ordinary people cannot pile, cannot access that road anymore truck and tankers have blocked the road okay it's a very big issue too so now, what are we saying is that using the badge is going to have what a serious uh, effect to able to us to cushion the effect of congestion. But all these things have to we have to go with what cargo handling equipment. If their cargo handling equipment is functional, if they have enough crane to service the badge, the badges, because we have several uh, lighter jetties out there that the transit point to where other trucks can instead of coming straight to the port, they will go out like my two, like uh, Brawa, like um, Agbara Aziz, like um, satellite areas. These areas are a lighter terminals that can easily what discongest the port by taking these bodies out there, taking this container through the bag to there to that areas. Then the trucks will not meet them over there. Then if I have this free flow of what free trucks coming in straight to the port. So these are the things we need to what employ and which is already happening. They are taking place already. So it has come to stay. Okay. So I uh, badging system in Nigeria has come to stay. 
and the more we fine tune it, the more better for everyone, and it, it will be able to discontinue the pot faster. Alright, I want to say I appreciate you for your time today. Thank you so much. And all right, viewers, I, I hope we've been able to find something educative from today's program. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram at Royal Arena Studio and don't forget to visit our website at www.royalrenacido.com. And you can also follow us on YouTube at Port Series. So if I come your way next week, bye bye.